I'm Roman Mica, the president of the Rocky Mountain Automotive Press, and this is the Rocky Mountain Driving Experience for 2011. So a morning with CORE. We did severe off-roading and we did a rally course. The CORE course is really well done. It's intimidating enough to really get the heart pumping, but it's safe enough with the level of instruction we have that nobody goes home with uh, their pants wet and the cars come back shiny side up. I had an excellent experience. Test drove a lot of these off-road vehicles and the course was amazing. It's challenging, it's entertaining. We did some off-road stuff, got the vehicles really dirty, really messy, uh, really tested them quite a bit, and then the uh, speed uh, rally track was phenomenal. Got the cars up to some great speeds, so it's been an absolute wonderful first half of the day. The best part was hauling through the mud, making everything dirty, and uh, getting some mud on the windshield. And then, you know, the tires course, the rocks, really surprising stuff. You know, I think the thing that, that struck me the most was kind of the capability of everything. Uh, everything does something a little bit different. There's a subconscious change of perception of a vehicle after you drive it on a course like this. Whether it's a Subaru or even a Kia, what happens is you realize the depth of engineering in it and it gives you a new perception of the manufacturer. Colorado's a great place to test these cars. You've got Mount Evans, the 14ers. You can test those things all the way to their, their limits up in the high altitude. You've got the uh, southwest part of the state for the flat desert areas. You've got uh, prairies like you have here. You've got great sites like this place. Showcasing your cars to a lot of these journalists kind of ups the exposure, especially in these intermountain states where uh, I think you have really savvy buyers. Our morning was spent off-road and our afternoon was spent on track. We had an awesome time. It was great. Lots of good cars. A lot of fast cars, you got to take up to four laps on each car and there was no waiting in line. You got to really pick whatever car you wanted to drive and we just had a blast. This is a great opportunity for us as a press. For example, you know, what I try to do is I try to hop in the cars that are as similar as possible so that you know, I can compare how a vehicle runs, handles, etc. And that's how I compare the cars one to another so that I can then go and do reviews on those and compare the cars to the public that way. I think this is a great thing. It's fascinating to jump from one car to another and then figure out how, how they perform. You really get a sense of the differences between all the cars we have here today. It's been a great day for us. We have uh, four vehicles that are participating in the drive event this year. It's pretty exciting. The uh, weather is perfect, the environment is perfect, and it's been a great day so far. And the track is really good. It's a wonderful track for this type of program. It's got some nice turns and two good straightaways that enable people to really get a chance to see how these cars can perform. This is the golden kind of opportunity that only comes like once a year. If you're a manufacturer, have at it. This is a great test for you and a great proving ground with a great bunch of journalists covering your cars. I mean, I think this event allows people to really see a whole different side of cars in a different terrain than they normally get. And I think that it's a great place to showcase your vehicle to people who live in the mountains to see a car in their environment and, and hopefully uh, attract some new buyers. Road, track, off-road, and even a 14,000-foot mountain. How can you get any better than that? Thanks for joining us from the 2011 Rocky Mountain Driving Experience.